swollen again. So I'm, I'm here to cross this off now. And I gotta tell you, um, because this is a small basement and we don't have a lot, a lot of work to do, this is only about, what did he say, maybe 30, 35, 12 footers. That's what I have down here. So I don't have a lot of drywall down here. But I wanna show you, remember I showed you how I box these? Uh, let me turn this light back on and give us a little bit more light. But now I still have this tape showing. So I'm going to take my eight. I'm going to take my eight, and I'm just going to coat this edge right there. And see, the tape is gone now. It, it's it's not there. But I have to do it all the way up and down. It's it's actually really really simple. Don't don't worry too much. too much about that because you're going to dust this down and you're going to skim it anyway. But if you notice wherever I box, I leave this, this big divot here and you have to fill those in. Otherwise the angle box, that needs to, it's going to need two coats. If you were to just try to run the angle box on there, you're going to have to two coat it. So I have to fill this in right up into the angle. And I notice I have it right there. So let me, let me take care of this one too and then I'm going to show you how I do the butt joints on the ceilings. So I'm going to take care of this one really, really quickly. And piece of front there. That's all I have to do. Uh, I need more mud. I like to put, I actually like to get my, my cross off mud. This is the exact same mud I was using on the tent box. It's the exact same stuff. And I always like to get it out with the pump because then it's filthy. There's a little, there's a little screen at the bottom of that pump that filters things. So, I'm going to undo this light so I can see better. But now, I, here I have a budget. Ideally, if you have a big job, what I really like to do is I like to tape it and coat it and let everything dry. And then I come in the next day and I run the 10 box right down the center. And it makes it really flat right down the center. Beautiful butt joints. They are so flat. They are so nice when I'm able to do that. But on a smaller job, I just don't have time. I mean, I'm not going to come back here and top this again and then come back here and skim it. I'm going to do all the top work that I have to do so when I come back here again, I just have to skim it and then I'm going to say it in detail. So, but I can take my 10 inch knife and I can run right down the center just like I would with a 10 box, right? if it was dry, and then I wipe that out nice and flat, and then I take and feather off this edge on this side, and I take care of that, and I feather out this edge on this side, and I take care of that, but I always like to do that too, and make sure that that's all nice and flat out. Now, now that I've done that, I take my 10 box, my 10 inch knife one more time, right down the center, and I leave it alone. Leave it, leave it go. When I 12 box this and bring this out here, it'll be really nice. I always have to shut these lights off when I'm doing, when I'm looking around it, because it's just blinding me. And, it, and I, I've got a big handicap because I'm blind in one eye and I can never see out of the other one. So I have to shut these lights off so it really helps me out. And, uh, and what's really nice about shutting all the lights off, and when I have all the lights off, my work looks great. It looks great. So, but that's how I do my cross-offs. You guys have a great day and keep up the good work. Bye. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's educational. I hope you've learned something. Uh, so if you really like what you see, please subscribe.